are you have you always been like a confidence uh confidence uh competitive individual or is it more a thing that you've learned from your brothers you know i think i kind of just learned it for myself okay um i think growing up i wasn't super confident and i was kind of always getting pushed around a little bit mm -hmm. um so and that came with hanging with older people oh yeah and then also uh growing up in a city so i grew up on the opposite side of the city of the school i went to mm, so mm -hmm. i grew up on the kennedy side instead of the jefferson side those okay. are the two high schools mm. and so like i'm getting pushed around and kind of bullied a little bit um at the parks and playing basketball and stuff like that and so i think through that and then mm. coming out of it that's where the confidence has come from word um real quick let me uh take a step back when you're talking about your injury did you get injured a lot like do you think that you you tend to get injured a lot and that's kind of how you do advance or i mean i i want to say no but mm -hmm. i've i've had three surgeries so i mm -hmm. guess you could say yeah i get injured a lot mm -hmm. i think it's just because i play a lot like okay. I, I broke the collarbone playing football and it was trying to make a catch that and I caught it, okay. but just like a catch that probably I could have just let go. Okay. And then I tore my meniscus trying to get a touchdown that I could have just let go. Okay. And then I rolled my ankle. That was just freak accident. Uh, okay. But I mean, I think it just comes from me being so competitive. Like mm -hmm. if I if I was just content with, um, you know, just getting tackled or letting the the ball go by me, like I probably wouldn't have got hurt. But. Mm -hmm. I've just never played sports that way. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't be a D one athlete if you're gonna exactly let a lot right. of stuff like that go. Exactly I right. I feel it. I feel it. Question: How did you get into the football aspect of your game first? Uh, or was it basketball I mean, that's made you start off? I think both were just around me when I was mm -hmm. younger, and then that Tavon Austin mixtape. Oh know yeah, if you're familiar. Mm -hmm. I used to watch that like every day. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think I mean I liked football more than basketball up until like a year and a half ago. So what happened? Because of like, did you? I I know you got offered to go play D one at Wisconsin to mm -hmm. play football as well as basketball. So what made you really? I was, I'm aware that I'm smarter in basketball. Okay. Where football, I wasn't like the smartest. I was kind of just good because like I was physically good. Okay. Where, like you don't want to be physically good at something. You want to be like mentally good at something. Yeah. yeah so yeah. like I just wanted to go with the sport that I also enjoyed getting better at more. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah. Do you see basketball more as like chess? Yeah. See, that's a great way to put it. Like okay. I'm, I'm seeing football as literally just like run to this spot on after they say hut. Well, okay. like I see basketball as like a whole chessboard. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because like one of the things I do get while I am watching some of your uh, plays and stuff of that nature, especially when it comes to basketball, it seems like the game. Everyone else is moving slow, <laughs> especially since you're a point guard, you're able to like set a lot of things up for everyone else around you. Yeah. But do you feel like it's not so much stunted your offense that you've had to bear such a load, or do you think it's uh, actually improved in the long run? You know, I think so with the I think when I was at Jefferson, I kind of had a huge like uh, like the scoring load was on mm -hmm, me a mm -hmm. ton. And so I think having everything run through me at that time, mm -hmm. I think it was good for me in the long run. But yeah, at the yeah. time, you know, I I mean, I was super like sore, hurt mm -hmm. all the time because everything mm -hmm. was running through me. Mm -hmm. But I think now looking back, like now I know how to handle that. Oh, OK. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, I am looked at to do a lot. Mm, so. OK, that's fair. That's fair. Honestly, one of the things I was thinking about while uh, watching your team, the first three years, because um, you went to Jefferson, then you went to Breck. Yeah. Learning how to be able to score is a lot easier than learning how to like assist and stuff yeah. of that nature. But while I'm watching your game, I feel like you want to be facilitating more than getting the bucket in the first place. Yeah. You just happen to always be able to get the bucket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it kind of difficult trying to like reel yourself back when you are playing? Or is it a thing where it's just like, I'm just going to go 100% no matter what's in front of me no that's a great question i think right now my biggest thing is trying to figure out a balance between scoring and passing mm -hmm. i i find myself i'm at wisconsin now mm -hmm. i find myself turning it over at practice a lot trying to make the extra pass instead of like bucket oh, okay because, yeah, yeah like my my thing has always been like in practice i'll work on my passing mm -hmm. and try to get every single person open and not really score too much because mm -hmm. i know in games It'll just be instinct to just shoot it. Yeah, yeah. And so now that I'm at you know a higher level, where I'm everyone, starting, yeah, I'm starting to need yeah. to kind of score more intentionally. If that mm. makes sense. Is it okay? Oh. Um.